Disclaimer, this is a rant. I use bad words. Please be advised. What the fuck is going on with Bitcoin? This is The Morning Cryptos. Hey everybody, it's Mark Shepard and this is The Morning Cryptos. Has anyone else besides me noticed that Bitcoin is like bizarrely slow all of a sudden? I mean, transactions that used to take, you know, an hour are now not happening. Here, let me show you. Yesterday, I decided to buy some Litecoin. So I went to my Exodus wallet and notice how Litecoin is up. Notice how it broke out. I I knew when to get in, and I made an exchange yesterday morning, right after the morning cryptos. That exchange is still hanging up. I went to the watch progress link here, and boom, I get this. But I don't know how to reverse it. I don't know how to refresh it. I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm new. I've only been doing this for since February. <sighs> what about John Q. Public that just, well, I think I'll go get some Bitcoin. Yeah. I think I think this is really a dangerous time for Bitcoin. Let me go to my Exodus wallet. Let's see if there's anything I can fucking do to do this. Because I said I, I wanted to, I got nothing here in my wallet. In my Bitcoin wallet, it went out. Yeah, I exchanged for Litecoin. This thing has been pending since the 25th. I had a couple others that were pending. You know, it's a small amount, but it says I received it, but it's pending. So I can go here and rescan, but nothing happens. Maybe I can go to Litecoin and rescan. And see what the hell happens. Rescan. But where's my money? My Bitcoin left and my Litecoin never showed up. What the fuck, people? That was almost a thousand dollars. Like, are we supposed to just go, oh, Bitcoin's just a little slow right now. And I got to tell you, and this is a bit of a rant, so please forgive me before I do the, the morning cryptos. You know, Bitcoin isn't guaranteed a future. If they can't fucking get it together, and if the user experience is shit, as all of the the Bitcoin experts have been saying, from Roger Ver to uh, uh, to Richard Hart, <laughs> like what the fuck, Bitcoin? And and finally, I figured out. And this is, this is, again, this is my level of understanding, and I'm trying to share with anyone who watches what the level of understanding is of the people who are now coming into the Bitcoin uh, ecosystem, because we're used to, you know, I used PayPal yesterday. It worked instantly. I used my debit card yesterday. It worked instantly. Two days to wait for something to get cleared up. Is crazy, and that, and that will destroy trust, and trust will cause the price to tumble. That's my prediction. You know, I don't know. I don't know what to, else to do. There's nobody to call. There's no. There's nobody to call, right? I even went to Twitter. There doesn't seem to be anything. I'm not probably searching the right uh, words, but. I went to Twitter and said, you know, I searched for Bitcoin slow and I got nothing. So I don't know where to go. I don't know who to ask for help. It's like, uh, so that's where we are. People don't know what to do. What the fuck do I do? No one's, no one seems to care. 
right? That people are losing money. I have a friend who is who I brought into Bitcoin who is just I had to listen to him for an hour. It was very entertaining. On and on he went about you know the usability. Money has to be usable. It can't just like money has to be usable people. Otherwise, what the fuck is the point? And if Bitcoin is the place we go to store value and someone goes to get their value and it's not available or you you click exchange and it leaves your wallet but never comes back in as the other coin, that's not good, people. And I'm pissed because I correctly once again called a move on Litecoin and I got in over here. Let's see if I can draw an arrow. I got in right here yesterday. That's where I wanted to get in. I had a buy signal. I fucking went for it. But now it's, you know, it's, it, it's frustrating. All right, end of rant. Let's look at the cryptos. And and I got to tell you, as soon as I can get my money out of Bitcoin, I'm going to, and I'm going to put it in other currencies that actually work. And why this is important for you is that you will see that happen to millions upon millions of people who want to actually do something with this fucking cryptocurrency. <laughs> like, buy shit or trade for shit. And do not tell me, you know, that I should just wait. Fuck that. That is not a good user experience. And Roger Vera was very clear. You know, something has destroyed the Bitcoin user experience. And from what I gather... The miners who normally mine Bitcoin have all switched to mine Bitcoin Cash this weekend because evidently Bitcoin Cash has some kind of bonus if they do that. Hello? That doesn't seem to you to be an aggressive attack on Bitcoin? And as the end user, I don't fucking care. <laughs> the end user just wants the goddamn thing to work. When I go to buy gas... If my money doesn't come out of my card, I don't get gas, so I can't get to where I'm fucking going, right? That's one of the purposes of money, is to make life work. There. I'm going to have a sip of coffee now. Mm -hmm -hmm. I went over to see the, uh, the uh, Floyd Mayweather... Conor McGregor fight with a buddy of mine who I turned on to Bitcoin. And he's like, Mark, I can't get, I can't exchange anything. Oh, okay. So there's me and my two friends and uh, multiply that by millions of people. And you got a problem, Houston. I'm sorry, Bitcoin. You have a problem. And I don't know how the price of Bitcoin is staying up. Let's go look at Bitcoin. And the last time I looked, I haven't looked yet today. This is just, How is the price of Bitcoin staying up if no one can make a fucking exchange of it? Or is it just us little guys that are being fucked and uh, large trades are going through? Because the miners can decide whether they'll, you know, whether they'll mine a thing or not. I don't know what the fuck they do, right? We don't know what they even do, right? And that's the modern technological world. Nobody knows how a light switch works, except an electrician, supposedly, but we all can turn it on and off, right? And the thing is, we don't want to know. The public does not want to go through a four-year technological education to learn how to use money. It's hard enough to learn how to use a new kind of money if... The money works, and now it's not working. I hope my Litecoin shows up, but when it shows up, I've lost my price. I've lost my ex the whole reason for exchanging. 
And, uh, yeah, so that's it. So I don't fucking care what Bitcoin is doing. My prediction, you want to hear a prediction? That Bitcoin is going to drop, and it's going to drop rapidly, and it's going to drop rapidly soon. And I don't know if the whole SegWit activation will actually activate and alleviate anything. The average user sees, oh, SegWit, supposed to be better now. Let's uh, let's make an exchange, da, 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 and uh, it's worse. It's horrible. And it wasn't a small, it wasn't a $2 exchange. It was a $900 exchange. And it's disappeared. Like, where the fuck did it go? And, uh, you know, Bitcoin is high. And later, I mean, I will talk about how Bitcoin actually models the whole Ponzi scheme thing in a, in a different way in that, you know, if you're getting in now <laughs> and it all crashes, that's the same as a Ponzi scheme where the people who get in early do well. And that's the point I'm trying to make. All of these are Ponzi schemes. Every market is a Ponzi scheme. And, and it's not bad. It's just the way exponential numbers work. It's the way things go viral that causes Ponzi's, right? And Ponzi schemes are just a human uh, way to tap into that. And by the way, I've been also monitoring some of the Crypto Cranker programs, and none of them are working either. Uh, and I don't think it's because they're Ponzi schemes and they've shut down. I think it's because no one can make exchanges anymore. No one can get shit going on. No one can make transactions anymore. Essentially, the Bitcoin is like on vacation this weekend. Fuck that. Oh my God. Right? Ah. All right. I'm going to do the rest of the numbers. And you will see... You know, the other day I made an exchange uh, of Bitcoin for Ethereum and it took all fucking day. But this has now been two days. Like, what? And Ethereum's going up. I'd love to get into some Ethereum. Not really, right, not right now. But if I wanted to buy some Ethereum, I can't. Unless I have other coins. Like, I could buy Ethereum with Litecoin today. Sorry, I'm pissed. Fuck Augur right now. I'm only going to look at the cryptos that I actually have <laughs> at the moment. Oh, look at Dash. Dash is made of Dash. And you know what? It's going to go up more. Thank God I have a little. Thank God I got some Dash back here when I saw the sideways trade. Sideways trading range. So people, keep a lookout for these sideways trading ranges. But... Right now, you're going to see Bitcoin take a dump. That's my prediction. And and right now, I just want to get out of it. At least as soon as I can and trade it for something else and watch it do what it's going to do. I can always get back in later. But right now, how do you even get out of it? <sighs> so not a bad time to get it on Dash if you want to chase this baby. Um not the best time either. On the 30 minutes, we have a sideways trading range. We have a couple of little tops. And uh, we have some resistance here at 364-ish. And, uh, yeah, I don't fucking care about anything right now. I'm pissed. <laughs> All right. Back to Litecoin. I called this yesterday. Yesterday I knew I wanted some Litecoin. <laughs> it's looking sweet. And hopefully Litecoin can resurrect this whole stupid ass thing. Hopefully Litecoin can keep their shit together and, and not do the same bullshit that Bitcoin has done. Um, because we, the end user, are vulnerable. And when there's vulnerability, there's fear. And when there's fear, there's people voting with their feet. That is the free market. It is ruthless. It doesn't give a shit about the person that has the second best 
currency. It goes, it's right now, the market is looking for a currency that fucking works. It's going to be either Litecoin or Dash. They work. You can get them in a wallet. Monero looks good, but you can't get it in your regular wallet. So that, the average person is not going to use it. What is the average person going to use? They have to understand it enough to use it. You know, the IOTA coin uses a whole different process. It uses something called the Tangle. Instead of a blockchain, it uses a whole different way. So keep an eye on IOTA for the future. I'm not going to go into any charts of that right now because I don't think I have any. But um, Unless I do, but I'll look. But anyway, I'm done. This has gone long enough. I'm done and pissed. So people today, please don't make any transactions if you don't have to. Just stay the fuck away from Bitcoin until hopefully the miners are done doing their stupid shit over at Bitcoin Cash because that has an expiration date and supposedly the Bitcoin miners will be back to mining Bitcoin when they fucking feel like it. And uh, then maybe we can get our, get our, uh, our, our assets, our value out of this thing called Bitcoin. And then step aside and let let Segwit do its thing without my money being in Bitcoin. And then we'll see if it's something I want to get back into or whether I abandon it and move the fuck on to something that works. So that's my rant today. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I suppose I should put a disclaimer at the beginning that this is a rant. I should probably do that. So let me do a disclaimer. <clears throat> Disclaimer, this is a rant. I use bad words. Please be advised. Continue. <laughs> oh my God. Fucking Bitcoin. Yeah, I could have gotten in a sweet trade in Litecoin. But you know what? It'll, it'll come back a little bit. I'll get in a little bit later. Um... But I, I would be willing to bet Litecoin's going to go to 100 and very fucking soon, um, particularly if people cannot get anything going with Bitcoin. And, and I think you're going to see Bitcoin crash. I think you're going to see a serious, serious pullback because fundamentally, a product that doesn't work shouldn't have the same value as a product that does work just because it's fucking famous, right? Here's an example. Oh, this is a good example. In rest areas in the Northeast, in New York State and Massachusetts, I don't know if it's true, other places, there are these hand dryers. They are the weakest, saddest little fucking hand dryers, and they've been in these rest areas on the New York State Thruway or wherever, you know, for decades, and they've never worked well, right? And meanwhile... Dyson's come along with a hand dryer that you can, it dries, it actually dries your hands, saves towels, you know, but these fucking shitty hand dryers are still in a lot of these rest areas and they still don't work. They haven't worked for generations. I mean, air comes out, but it's, it's just, whereas the Dyson one, and then there's another one that is just like, right? Eventually, all those old hand dryers will be replaced. Eventually, unless Bitcoin really does get its shit together, people will just leave it. The hype can only go so far <laughs> before something runs out of steam, right? Anyway, that's another rant for another day. I will be quiet now. Can someone please start the music, please? Start the music now. <laughs>